S O M I. From the recording Jaffro, we had uh, Toru Dodo on piano, Yasushi Nakamura on uh, the uh, bass, and Kieta Ogawa on percussion. And we have Toru on the line calling in. Toru, welcome to WPFW. Hello, Rusty. It's good to hear Thanks your voice. Fantastic music, Toru. It's, it's, I've really been enjoying this this recording. Jaffro. I'm glad you say that. <laughs> So, so tell us a little bit about how you you came up with the, the title Jaffro for the for the name of the recording. Well, uh, so the that album was made in almost eight years ago, actually. And uh, that time, I was wondering, like, what what's the meaning of Japanese musicians playing all the uh, African music or jazz, and and I'm trying to give some of my answer to that and just put up some, you know, one of the best Japanese musicians around in New York scene and I try to create some music. I hopefully that could translate to the, uh, all the people in the world. Yeah, this is what a Japanese musicians term is uh, capable of, you know. You know, there's been an, an incredible array of, of, of Japanese pianists, uh, Performing, uh, in the States or coming, going back and forth between Japan and the U.S. before the, the COVID, yeah. uh, epidemic hit us. But, uh, tell us how, how did you get interested in jazz? What, what drew you to the music when you, when you were growing up? Well, in Japan, the playing piano is one of the things, you know, the, every parent wants their own kids to learn. It's just a, one of the, uh, cultural education things. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but the, mainly they uh, led the kids to learn the classical music, like Western classical music first. So that's how I got into the classical music when I was in... Actually, I started piano before. I don't... You know, my memory is kind of blurred, so <laughs> I, I really don't know, like, why I got into the music. But I didn't hate it, for sure. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, got a, I got a piano teacher who... This is my place every Wednesday. So I was kind of, I was thinking, oh, every Wednesday I need to, I need to practice the piano for this teacher. So that's how I got into music. And, and when I went to the uh, university in Japan, at that point I, I already kind of gave up becoming a, a concert pianist. I knew my limitation and, uh, but somehow I found jazz some possibility, maybe I could be a professional jazz musician. I mean, it's a, I was just young and foolish in the first place, but, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. but, uh, I, I was also into composition, like, uh, making some music. My piano teacher encouraged me to write some music by own. So, uh, I was, actually, I was more into writing music. It's more like Western classical vibe but uh, then I found similarity like jazz improvisation it's kind of a composition on the spot you know so then I was into jazz music and there's so much like a jazz club you know there's a chess club or a tennis club in, in a university and I I joined the jazz club in the university and that's how I got started playing jazz music and, and what brought you to the United States well, after I graduated from my university and I, I had no clue like what I, sh- what I should do and I didn't apply for any job, anything. I, I just wanted to be a musician because I'm already working as a musician when I was in university kid. Then, at that time, the Berkeley College of Music was like so, so famous in Japan, Japanese scene and every, as a musician I admire in, in Japan, went to uh, Berkeley College of Music. So it's kind of automatic for me, like, hey, I, I need to go to Berkeley okay. to get better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, after you graduated from Berkeley, uh, uh, how did you get your career started here in the States? What happened to get you uh, uh, p- performing professionally? Well, it's just uh, like a grinding, you know. Uh-huh. Just, I, I went to the jam session almost every night and, you know, get some connection. And the people start calling me 
And so that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's my thought, really, you know. Well, I've seen you, you, you actually perform with some, some really prominent musicians like, uh, Benny Golson, Curtis Fuller, Louis Hayes. Yeah. Uh, so they, they must have really uh, appreciated your skills as a pianist to, to be able to perform at, at that, that level with those, uh, legendary musicians. Yes, I'm so fortunate. Yes. How did you make those connections? How did you, how did you get, get to be able to perform with people like that? Well, I, it's kind of, funny story to tell, but uh, I knew the manager of Benny Gossum and the Curtis Footer, and his name is Jason Flankin, and mm-hmm. he's a singer. He's a singer living in Atlanta. And uh, so back then, like 2000, like early 2000 something, I don't quite remember, but uh, he was looking for a pianist for his gig. And uh, so I was hired to be his pianist and he sang and we, we did a couple gigs you know in and out and then i found out that he's actually a manager of benny golson and the curtis Fuller. and the uh, jason actually took me up for gigs for benny golson and the curtis Fuller when they need a pianist in the last minute you know that's that's how i got connected to those benny well, or, uh, curtis well that's quite a connection there that, that really worked out well for you i'm sure yes yeah. so, so you're doing a a, 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 a concert, a, a solo recital this coming Monday at, at yep. the Arts Club of Washington. That uh, Burnett Thompson's been doing this for, for years now. And, uh-huh. and and actually this one, he's got uh, uh, support from the Embassy of Japan. So, uh, so we're really locked in in terms of, of the importance of it. And I'm sorry that this is, you know, the, the period of the, the, the COVID virus, but we all have to st- stay safe. But it's a marvelous room. It's a marvelous piano. And, uh, I, I've, I've a- attended all of them except for the, the, uh, maybe one or two. And, and um, I'll be watching this on the live stream, but it's really marvelous that you're going to be able to do this. Uh, but Burnett has, uh, been incredible in terms of, of the folks that he's, he's brought to town. And wow. I'm, because I, you know, I I haven't played piano owned by somebody else for the last seven months. So, you know, it's, yeah, well, <laughs> you know, they have these really incredible Steinway pianos at at the Arts Club, and the one in the recital hall is just top notch, and they, they they keep it in great 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 shape. Uh, well, that excites me. You know, so much. And, and to be able to afford this. Uh, 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 the tickets are a nominal sum, that probably the lowest for all the live streams that I've seen. And you get tickets at pianojazz.com. And it's just, just go to your, the, the website, pianojazz.com, and you're able to, uh, watch the live stream at, at the live Monday at 7 p.m. And then, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the stream will be available for you to watch, uh, uh for, for a while after that. So, uh, uh, so you, you, you you've been in New York for for quite some time now. How's how's it been for you during this this uh, time of lockdown and, and 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 no real real performances? What, how have you been doing? Well, the first three months, I I haven't done anything. Like I was so hopeless, and you know I was so devastated. Devastated, like hearing all the news, and so many great people just passed away. I mean, especially for the jet community you know sure. but, uh, oh friends of mine really it was really been devastating yeah but then maybe like sometime in june like i uh, know i i would say end of may i got some urge to do something you know i i just cannot keep doing nothing i sure. need to do something and uh actually uh i started on my live stream channel on twitch platform and i i've been like uh Showing off my arrangement skills, my solo piano skills, on like Monday through Friday, targeting a Japanese audience. But uh, but I've been doing that like last actually 21 weeks. Oh, fantastic! So, what will you be uh, performing on, on Monday? Have you decided uh, the the original compositions, or any any standards that you're going to work in? How are you going to approach this? And so actually, the uh, so for the my own live streaming channels. I've been uh, piling up the repertoires, like two songs a week, kind of stuff. You know, I I made some arrangements of all, all, all those uh, 
American jazz pandas or a Japanese pop songs or uh, all kinds of stuff. And I've been archiving on the YouTube clip, and I, I got uh, already a 37 songs <laughs> listed on the YouTube. Oh, so I'm going to perform some of the songs from all those archives for sure. Okay. And I'm going to add some of my originals too. Fantastic. I'm sure I'm going to play uh, SOMI, that, that song you just heard. Awesome. Yeah, you'd have to do some editing with all of the, the, the tunes you've been working on during this, this time of isolation and, and live streaming. Uh, I, I, I'm really looking forward to, 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 to uh, watching this uh, at the Arts Club Toru, and it's, I'm really uh, appreciative of your, your, your calling in tonight. Uh, we have uh, uh, Bahama Mama queued up, and, and a little bit later on I, I'm going to play uh, Jeff Ronesk. But but right now, oh, that's awesome. yeah, Bahama Mama. What 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 uh, what inspired you to to, uh, to compose that? You know, uh, it's kind of it's not too it's not that hard to guess. But uh, I I visited Bahamas for my vacation. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> and I I met some uh, nice lady who made omelets for every morning at the hotel. Okay. <laughs> I just wrote the song for her. Fantastic! Well, that that that's uh, that, that's really special, and and again the uh, uh, the, the 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 album we've been featuring uh, is called Jafro, and it's uh, that that Japanese Afro American connection that that uh, Toru Dodo has been a part of. Live stream this Monday, it'll be at seven o'clock. You can get the uh, tickets through uh, pianojazz.com, uh, dot uh, Thompson's uh, website. Uh, uh, and, and again, this is really. Uh, going to be a wonderful performance as part of an incredible array of performances that Burnett Thompson's been doing all these years at the Arts Club. Again, pianojazz.com, and it'll be Monday night at 7 o'clock. Toru Dodo, thank you for, for calling in tonight, and uh, we'll be playing more of your music uh, after after later on in the show. But i got to remind folks, I have not gotten any pledges tonight, and, and I have a goal of $500 between now and midnight and and uh, Toto, say a few words of why a station like this should be supported uh, uh, to, to 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 help us meet our goal tonight. Yes, uh, you know that music is such a vital thing for sh- human society, and the radio station like this, it's like a like a blood vessel. And if you keep a blood vessel, you cannot live as a human society. So then you have to support each other and you have to contribute this station and uh, you have to support Rafi and he's a resident. Yes, well, th- well thank you Toto. We're really looking forward. Again folks, the number here to call to, to, to lend your support is 202-588-9739 or you can pledge online at wpfwfm.org as we 